Hey everyone, so I've had quite a few messages recently about Kern Bypass and the fact that Akusio has basically vanished as well as his repo. So this is a message that Akusio actually posted um, a few, well pr probably about a week ago now. And shortly after posting this, um, basically his Twitter account disappeared and the repo for anybody who doesn't already have it added um, no longer shows up. So because of that, a lot of people are unable to actually install Kern Bypass. Now, there are quite a few different repos where you could actually get Kern Bypass from. However, most people who are looking for Kern Bypass are wanting it for Fortnite. And for that reason, um, I've done a little bit of digging and tried to find out as much as I could in terms of how to get it working again. Basically, since season three was launched, Fortnite has basically blocked um, the Kern Bypass method of actually getting through. So as soon as you actually launch in the game now, it'll, it'll basically kick you out straight away. And it may, it'll be before you land. So it won't be instant, but as soon as you launch from the actual boss, then before you actually land, it, it'll kick you out. Now I've done a little bit of research and tried to find out whether there's any other methods to actually install it. I have found one particular method for installing it. However, there was um, a little bit of a, a differentiation in which version you want to actually install. So for, let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is come into sources and what you want to do is install this repo. So it's the sharpshooter repo. I have had people saying, why don't you put it in the comments? Because quite simply, I put stuff in the description below and then I get a hundred people messaging me because they've not bothered to actually watch the video and they literally just go and install it and in this scenario obviously that would I know for a fact cause a lot of comments where people are literally pasting the, uh, the same comments um, where I'll, I'll answer this later in the actual video so this is the actual repo that you want to install and as you can see for me personally it only lists two things I believe this was an actual uh, beta repo so there was a lot more beta tweaks that were actually in here um, originally I'm not sure whether they, they are gonna pop back up again or not but basically if I click into this what you'll see is this is version 0.07-2 now there are other versions that are actually available what i'll have to do is install it and then i'll come back so i don't know whether this will actually carry on recording so what i'll do is i'll, I'll hit install restart springboard right so now that we're back if we just come back into it into Cydia and go to recent so what you'll notice here is if you click on modify oh actually it's not actually giving it us anymore so previously it was actually giving a different version so for anybody on iOS 13.5, they need this version in order to make stuff work. So primarily, I think this will work with Pokemon Go. I've not actually been able to get this working with uh, Fortnite. Uh, PUBG, I was asked about yesterday, but PUBG, basically, I was able to go straight in without any bypass tweaks enabled. Um, I played around 12 minutes of the game whilst I wasn't actually playing it properly, but basically I was just watching TV and I had it loaded on the side. Um, 12 minutes where I was playing it, killing people, and it still didn't boot me out. So PUBG, I don't believe, needs any type of bypass. Um, this, I've been told, does work, but you af obviously after installing this, you will still need to repeat the uh, M-Terminal commands as well. So in order to do that, you come into M-Terminal, uh, type in SU, type in Alpine as the password, and then what you want to do is change root fs space and and then once it gives you the text you put in disown space percentage one and then it should come back to this this particular line of code and once that's done um, it should should be working for you now the problem with this now is because Acusio actually had the the secondary um, Kern bypass, so it was a Kern bypass fix. So once you've done that M terminal command, every time you respring or you restart your phone, you no longer had to put it, put it in manually. Because you no longer have that respring fix, every single time you respring, possibly with the resprings, I'm not 100% sure, but definitely with restart, so springboard restarts. If you restart your springboard, then you will need to go back in and redo the M terminal command in order to get it working again. It might not uh, have to be done by everybody, but I have seen some people report that literally every time they respring their phone, they're having to repeat this process. Now, as I said earlier on, there was actually another version. I believe it was 0.04. 
that was the version for anybody on iOS 13.4 uh, or earlier. So basically 13.5, um, you need this one and anything 13.4 or earlier, you would have needed the 0 0.04. Um, I think, I can't remember if it had a dash as well, but basically there was two versions previously. At the moment, obviously there's only one version that's actually showing. So this is the version that if it's gonna work, this will work on iOS 13.5. But as I say, I've personally not been able to get Fortnite working with this. But for all of those asking for a uh, current bypass uh, repo, obviously this is the video for you guys. What you do with this is obviously up to you guys. Um, if you're having issues, as I say, because of the fact that Acusia basically put out that tweet saying, look, it's archived, it's not gonna be working. Nobody's gonna be working on this after iOS 14. I did actually do a search and most of the tweets that I actually found were, they had to be translated, but they pretty much, the gist of it was, if you're on iOS 13.5, then you need to install 0.07. Initially, it took me quite a long time to actually find this particular repo because quite a lot of the, this, the sites referenced Sharpshooter but I couldn't actually find the repo anywhere. I managed to find the repo, get it installed. I did test it out with uh, Fortnite because that's the most popular one that most people tend to message me about, but I've personally not been able to get it working since the launch of uh, the new season. And it pretty much triggered with that. So the event occurred last um, Monday, was it Monday I think? Or well, it might've been last week. I can't remember exactly when the event occurred but um since then basically it's it's been down and it detects a lot faster you can see that the bypass is obviously still doing its job because it still allows you to go into the app whereas if you don't have current bypass enabled then it won't even allow you into the app but they've obviously figured something out in terms of a different detection method and obviously the problem with fortnite is because you re-download every time you delete the app and you go into it it, it gets you to download all of the the maps and everything um, each time so it's it's very easy for them to literally just push out an update and basically they'll patch any method so until people like Acusio come back with um, some sort of um, improved method um, for bypassing Fortnite unfortunately if it doesn't work then there's not much else that I have right now. As I say, I'm always trying to put these videos out as soon as I can. So with this particular method, obviously I wanted to be sure that firstly the tweak installed, um, secondly that it was stable, and thirdly that it didn't actually cause an issue with any of the, the other tweaks that I have installed. So I haven't seen any conflict with any of the other ones that I have installed as a result of installing this one. However, obviously for all of you guys out there that are wanting it for specific uh, apps, all I can say is same as I've said before in the comments below. So subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. As soon as these new methods come about, I'll post a new video for you. And then obviously you can you can take it from there. Um, you will have seen from the comment section that I try and reply to every single comment that I get. Uh, obviously the people that are posting stupid stuff, they're gonna get a stupid answer. So for those people who um, just like being uh, sarcastic in the comment section, basically this isn't the channel for you because you're literally just gonna get that push back into your face. But for anybody out there genuinely struggling, I always try and do my best to try and help you out as much as possible. A lot of the times it is a case of just, you need to just follow the instructions in the video. So obviously if, if you don't know how to install tweet uh, sources and things like that, because I have Batumatic installed, obviously mine is slightly different. But in order to add that repo, all you do is you hit edit in the top uh, right, and then you hit add. Now this next window you won't get, what you'll get is you'll just get that, and then you literally just copy and paste the repo that uh, I advised earlier. Um, and then you can either just go through the actual repo itself, so you can either just come straight through here and click on it there, or you can just search for it as well. When, I, when you search for it, I think it might actually give you um, Yes, yeah, so at the moment, basically it's giving me this because I still have um, current bypass in, well, the original repo installed, but you might not actually get this. But if you click into this one, yeah, so as you can see, this is the 0.03. That was the one that no longer was working for pretty much anybody. I think 0.04 was the one that was working for the older firmwares, and then 0.07, which is the one that we have here, is the one that theoretically will work with iOS 13.5 but also that's for you guys to post in the comments below. Um, I'm not claiming that this is a working method. All I'm doing is I'm bringing you the information in terms of where to get it from, how to install it. What you do with it from that point onwards, obviously I leave down to you guys. Okay, so until the next one, thanks very much for watching.